Hey beer lovers, how are you doing? Um, got another review for you. Because uh, hey, it's that time of year, what else are we going to do? Um, we've got this beauty. You see this thing? Conqueror, black IPA. Everyone's talking about this. Um, I know a few of the other reviewers have done reviews on it and they all love it. Um, I've had one of these before and um, to tell you the truth, I prefer the original, um, the original Conqueror, which is five, is it five and a half, something like that percent. This one, seven and a half. And the other thing is on here, it says actually 7.4, I should say, because the British government have made 7.4 the limit before things get expensive. I mean, this is quite expensive anyway, but um, we'll go on to that in a minute. Windsor and Eaton, I love them. I think they're cool. You boys? Wicked. Um, yeah, what have we got in here? So, it tells you what hops we've got. We've got Cascade, hey, which everyone uh, loves, but I, I'm i not so sure. It's a passing phase, I think, but a lot of hops around at the moment. Um, and Pacific Jade, who are also um, quite a sweet, fragrant hops. Um, anyway, enough said, let's have a look. Oh, I've got this, let's have a look, can you see that? Windsor, Windsor and Eaton snifter. Anyway, right, let's crack this beast. Crack her open, see what she's like. Any smoke? Not really. Oh, getting that cascade, man, getting that cascade. Let's go for a pour. Go for a nice gentle pour and then turn it up to get some head maybe, mm, a little bit perhaps, not too bad. Other problem with this, and it's my bugbear, is it's a 3.30, why, why the hell are breweries doing this? I mean I know it's a stronger beer, but hey there's people like Hepworth, they've got a monster beer, 7.5-8%, uh, their Noel beer, I think, and that's in a 500. Hey, you know, it means you only have one, doesn't it? Or in my case, about three. Um, okay, we're looking at a porter, definitely. Porter colour. Black IPA. I think I think it's from the malts they use. Yeah, definitely floral. Same as same as the uh, the normal Conqueror, really. It will hit you when you drink it though. Right, let's try some of this. Oh, fruit. Lovely fruit. Oh, then the malt. Really creamy. Yeah, I'd say that's a chocolate malt. It's definitely a, cho uh, a dark malt. Not roasted though. It's not a sort of Guinness um, or dark porter sort of taste, even though it looks like one. Very chocolatey, very fragrant. What are we getting now? Oh, lots of, lots of hoppy flavour. Definitely the Cascade, but the Jade Hops. Maybe a slightly different fruit, maybe a more sort of citrusy kind of fruit. Um, because the Cascade is definitely a kind of peachy, peachy one. Right. Oh. Yeah, it's the malt. I quite like malted beers, but this one's just a bit too much. It really is. I love the hops. The hops very nice, even though I'm not really a Cascade fan, this one's done very well. I don't think they've changed much in the hops here. It's just that malty taste. It's it's a little bit too overly malty, I have to say. Um, guys, you've done brilliantly. The original Conqueror was amazing. Um, I think this one just goes a little bit too far. I mean, I'm being honest, loads of, loads of other reviews really love this bit, but um, See, I'm still tasting it. 
oh, tasting it in my fillings and stuff, you know, that really thick malty taste. Yeah, tiny. You know, if you've got a really malty beer and it's a tiny bit sour at the end, that's kind of what you're getting from this. Mm. But still, very nice beer. Um, I have to say, I'll stick to the normal Conqueror because that that's got to be my favourite beer of this year. The standard, um, the normal Conqueror. I've had it in the pub through the pump. I've had it in bottles. Uh, I've had it in a mini cast straight from the brewery. Such a lovely, lovely beer. Um, <coughs> oh, pardon me. On the burp. Yeah, still getting those floral notes. Um, it, it's not bad. There's there's only two things wrong. The, the bottle's too small. I mean, that's obvious. Um, and it's a bit too malty, a bit too strong. I mean, I like my strong beers, but this one goes a little bit too far. I think you guys got it perfect with the normal Conqueror. Um, and hey, how can you improve on perfection? You know, you can't. Um, and this one... I don't know if I'll buy too many of these, to be perfectly honest. Um, if you made it in the bigger bottle, I might do, you know, might get a case in. But I'd, I'd rather just have a case of the normal Conqueror. <laughs> I've said it far too many times on this review, but um, hey, that's just the way I feel. Anyway, lovely beer. Um, I suggest you do try it. Um, it's not going to be around forever. It's a limited edition. Um, so, yeah, give it a go and uh, let me know what you guys think, yeah? Anyway, um, subscribe if you like my inane ramblings um, and make sure you click the like button somewhere down there um, because um, I, I need it for my, for my Brew Shack website, yeah? Um, so thanks, guys. You can do me a big favour. And lots more reviews coming and maybe a few more home brews as well. I'm doing quite a few at the moment. Some of them didn't turn out that well um, because of those dodgy silver can kits, but some of them were okay. Anyway, enjoy what you're doing and uh, we'll see you on the next one.